Hello again. Here are some bucks I'm going to be using in these next couple of videos. This is a two part series. And this is, explains a little bit about buck converters. You have boost bucks and step down bucks. This buck here is a boost buck capable of putting up to 120 volts DC out from as little as about 10 volts. This is another boost buck. It's capable of putting out 90 something volts from about seven volts. And this one is a step down buck, which becomes useful for charging smaller amounts of batteries with a higher input voltage. Both of them have their own applications but this is, it works really good for charging batteries and stuff. And here I'm showing a demonstration of how these bucks work by controlling the input voltage and letting you see the output voltage of the buck. In this style of buck right here, you have to bench test them to know where the adjustments are as in the amps and the voltage. So you just don't want to just hook one of these things up to anything that's sensitive to voltage because you could possibly hurt it. But here I'm showing you can adjust the voltage and you can see where it's increasing. And here I'm gonna show you how to charge a battery this is a 25 volt battery. You can see at the positive side or normally on the flat side of these type of connectors. But this one actually tells you. So I'm gonna hook this up and show you that the voltage and the amperage that you typically want, every battery is a little different. This type of battery can handle a charge voltage of about 29 volts. But I'm just doing a demonstration here just to kind of show you how you want to charge it. There are a few variations depending on how you're charging or using a generator or however you're doing, you may want to adjust your amperage to where it's not as high or it's, it's higher, depending on the load that you can put into the driver. They can typically handle about 10 amps of charge current. As you can see here, the amperage of charging is about three amps, three and a half amps. Now I'm going to adjust it down and try to get it closer to like one and a half amps. Now I'm gonna disconnect the battery to see what the voltage is at and then readjust the voltage to what I want it to charge to with it open so there's no load. And once I get this voltage adjusted to where I want it to, then I can reconnect the battery up and it will charge until it reached that voltage and then won't go no higher. And as you can see, the voltage is increasing slowly, which means the battery is getting charged. I'm sure you notice this is only charging off of 10 volts. So that's what the benefit of having a boost buck is. When you have a low input voltage, you can charge it to a higher voltage. It takes more current, of course. With this type of boost buck, your input voltage, if it goes higher than your set voltage, it passes through. With this style buck, you typically want to go higher voltage 
than your input voltage. So they're great for that. So this is a different type of boost bug. It's got a display on it. So you don't have to have any meters or anything like that to adjust these. They actually have quite a bit of settings in them. There is a manual on them and you can uh, do a few type of configurations with these. You can actually make these to where they'll come on right when they sense power automatically or to where you have to turn them on, which is handy for depending on what you're doing. Right now I'm adjusting the amperage and so you can see how it's so much easier to just program it and hit the button. Same with the voltage. Now I'm basically going to do the same thing by showing this type of buck charging a battery. Also with this style boost bug, if you go higher on your input voltage than your set voltage, it will override and your higher voltage will pass through. So these are designed mainly to increase voltage from whatever you're supplying them from. Which this style will actually go up to 120 volts DC. From as little as 10 volts. And here I'm showing you that you can increase the voltage and it holds it stable just as long as you don't go over the set voltage with your input voltage. You can see that the battery is taking charge the voltage slowly going up so I disconnected the battery here's about the lowest input voltage it'll work now I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to its maximum voltage of output And you can see the current draw, and this is just idling, you know, not powering anything. Now I'll lower the input voltage and see how low it can go before it loses the ability to be able to create the voltage. Now here's a step down buck. These are really useful for when you have a higher voltage and trying to charge a lower voltage or run something off of a lower voltage. So with this type of bug, step down, to regulate your voltage correctly, your input voltage needs to be higher than your set voltage. If it drops below that, then the voltage that's being supplied will drop it below too. So I'm going to charge a 12 volt battery with this setup, just showing you with a higher input voltage how you can regulate it at 13.5 volts. You can also regulate the rate of charge by adjusting the amps. And you can see the battery voltage increases once I turn it on. These really work good for regulating current and for charging purposes. And here I'll show you like with the voltage fluctuating, how low it can go. And then how when you go to a higher voltage, it stays consistent. These really come in handy when you're trying to use these hoverboard 
as generator because the voltage is always fluctuating and depending on how fast you're going to spin it is the type of buck you're going to use because the speed of the hoverboard wheels is in direct relationship of the voltage and the current. In my part two of this video, I'm going to be showing with a hoverboard generating power running through a buck and running a battery or running something directly off of the buck. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you.